OK, welcome. So in this case, what I want to do is just show you how to solve by factoring out a GCF in our first two terms. So you see what we have here is y equals negative x squared plus x. And if I wanted to go ahead and factor, um, you know, see what I could factor out, I could see I could factor on x. But a lot of times, we also like to factor out that uh, neg negative 1. You don't always have to, but we like to, um, we like to not have our quadratic equal to 1. There's a couple different ways you guys could look at this. First of all, we could just factor out that we could factor out the negative one in our whole expression from the get-go, and just rewrite this as x squared minus x. Then, as we set this equal to zero, I can divide by negative one on both sides, and therefore I still have zero equals x squared minus x. Or you could also just say, well, zero equals negative x squared plus x. All right, and then what you could simply do is just factor out, you know, an x or not factor out an x. Or I'm sorry, negative x, or not factor out of negative x. But in this case, if I factor out a negative x, then I'd have 0 times negative x times x um, minus 1. All right. So anyways, let's go and factor this one out, because it's really the exact same problem. So now I can factor out a positive x, which we like, and that's x minus 1. Now what you notice is you say, well, these aren't the same. That's negative x, and that's x. But again, if you apply the 0 product property, Well, again, to solve for x here, since that's negative, I divide by negative 1. Well, 0 divided by negative 1 is just going to equal x equals 0. So that's why it doesn't matter if you factor out that negative 1 first, or really any of those coefficients. If you factor them out first and divide them out, they're not going to affect your solution. And then this would be x equals 1. So the two solutions for uh, this problem is going to be x minus uh, x equals 1 and x equals 0.